Okay, we're back. Uh, sorry I missed the Clippers game. Uh, I was a little busy, but, you know, it was kind of hard to watch since the Clippers always seemed to beat us. And you knew what the outcome was going to be. But that's over with. We're on to our next game against the New York Knicks. Uh, the Knicks just lost to the Clippers, like we did on Saturday. Yes, yeah, Saturday. So, and they're driving up to Northern California to face off with the Kings. So let's just get started with the matchup. Now, the Kings are halfway through their four-game homestand. They finally get to play against a team who hasn't won close to 30 games this season. Ugh. I don't remember the last time I did that. But the Kings shouldn't take this game for granted. The Kings have an unfortunate habit of playing to their opponent's level. So when they're playing a great team, they play great. But when they play a bad team, they don't play great. Hmm. <sighs> I couldn't tell you the last game that should have been an easy win that turned into a game until the end. Now, usually the Kings do end up on the winning side of those type of games, but we had to play our starters for minutes that we shouldn't have been have to play them for, so it took a toll on their next game, where we actually needed to do the starters. So, it all adds up. Now, the Knicks have been better than usual um, this February, this past February, where they went three um, of ten of their three to seven of the last ten games. So for a team who's only won thirteen games, winning three in ten games, that's pretty. That's okay. You know. <clears throat> Sorry. Now the Knicks' defense has gotten a, a lot better since the past February. They went from the bottom five teams in the league to the top ten in defense. So, it will be interesting what they can do on the defensive end against our offensive threatening kings. Hmm. A lot of that defense improvement is to go to their backup young center, Mitchell Robinson. Um, he's just returned from an injury, and he's playing like a star He's nearly averaging 10 points. He's not a big scorer, but 7 rebounds and 3 blocks per game. Over 3 blocks per game, guys. Oh, uh, hopefully he doesn't punish us a lot. <sighs> okay, that's basically it for the matchup. Let's get it into the player matchup. Now, the only good uh, confrontation in this game is... Uh, that point guard with De'Aaron Fox against Dennis Smith Jr. These two players are pretty similar. They're both the team's leaders, um, but Fox is Fox is averaging 17 points, seven assists, two steals, and three rebounds. Now Smith is averaging 15 points, six assists, 1.5 steals. And two rebounds. So he's basically just a lesser De'Aaron Fox. By like this little margin. So it, it, it should be an interesting even matchup. Now when it comes to like shooting percentages, Fox destroys Smith. Um, Fox is about 10 more percent than Smith in every category. Every shooting category. So, um, it takes a lot of shots for Dennis, Dennis, Dennis Smith Jr. to get his 15 points. But, another thing that the Kings should take note of is that Dennis Smith Jr. is a terrible free throw shooter. He is shooting 56% from that line, which is embarrassing for a starting point guard in the NBA. So... Foul him. Don't let him score. Foul him. That would be good. Shooting guard, it's not an exciting matchup, and I don't know anything about the Knicks starting 
shooting guard. So I'll just tell you what's going on. Air shooting guard Dotson is averaging 10 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists, a steal, and isn't very efficient from the floor. And Buddy Heald, our Sacramento proud player. I have a farmer step, don't I? I do. Um, <clears throat> he's putting up 21 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 steal, with 45% from downtown out of 8 attempts. 45% out of 8 attempts. That's good. Uh, small forward. The Kings starting lineup has been kind of unpredictable lately. Sorry about that. But I'm pretty sure Bogdanovich is going to start for them. He'll be facing off with the Knicks, probably second best player in Kevin Knox. Um, Kevin Knox was feeling good about himself early in the season, but he's been sort of slumped recently. So right now he's putting up 13 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist, and half a steal. Now Bogdan has a, um, he has a, like a, you know, a veteran mindset, as a, all those Europeans do. So he'll probably know how to handle Knox, but Bogey is putting up uh, 15 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists, and a steal. And his defense has been pretty good recently. Okay, power forward. Now, the Kings have lost Marvin Bagley for two weeks. Which isn't awful. It could have been much worse. But... He was a he was a tool that we were using on our bench to get some more points on our team. So it's gonna be a loss, that's for darn sure. The Kings will most likely start Harrison Barnes at this position. Probably, because I I'm thinking that's what they're gonna do for the rest of the season. The Knicks starter at this position, Lance Thomas, doesn't contribute much to them since he's only getting four points, three rebounds, half an assist, and a steal. Oh, this is not a good team. If we, if we lose this. And ever since putting on the purple jersey, Barnes has been cold on the offensive end, but he has been great on the defensive end. He's averaging 12 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists, and a steal. And I know um, you might say, like, you say he's cold on offense, but he has 12 points. It takes a long time to get to those 12 points. Uh, center. Another non-exciting matchup. This is not This is not exciting, guys. I'm sorry. It's not a good matchup. It's not a good match. This shouldn't be a really good game. Another non-exciting matchup with what hopes to be a non-exciting game and just a warm-up to the Kings for a tough game against the Celtics coming next up for them. But the Kings center has been struggling recently. He's putting up 12 points, 8 rebounds, a, two assists, one steal, and one block. But he's cold from the floor somehow when he only does laps. The other game, he shot 40% from the field. I think he took one jumper. How can you be so inconsistent? Oh, no. Okay, and the Knicks have a pretty similar, actually, center. In Noah Vonley, I don't know how to pronounce it, who's getting 8 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 steal, and a block. So this should be like watching twins play. Because they're probably the same person. Now, with the loss of Marvin Bagley, the Kings' other young big man, Harry Giles, will most likely be getting more minutes. And if Harry can have a good night, he can be just as or even more explosive than Bagley. So we'll look, to, we'll look to Harry to fill in that gap that Bagley provided us. So the Kings look to end a three-game losing streak with a strong victory over the New York Knicks. Knickerbockers. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, go check out my blog, SacCityHomeOfTheKings.com. If you like this, even if you didn't like it, Please just subscribe and tell your 
fellow Sacramento friends. Yay. This is fun. I like it. You should. You should like it. Um, yeah. See you later. Watch the game.